Greetings, Alec Pearson Museum in Amsterdam. There are quite some glyphs that we have seen for those who take the classes and those who will take the classes later on. Now this artifact here is number six, so let me show you the description. It says that it is the post war of now this spirit, this way of modern if it's octet. But um I'm not sure how to pronounce it when it's spelled that way. I haven't seen that spelling before. It's made of limestone, located or originated from Heracleopolis Magna. It's the first intermediate period, and here is the reference. So we have our typical Hotep Dinesu or Dinesu Hotep, and we have Usir Neb Jedu, and we have Red Heru Te. Some people don't translate like this, but to uh, Heneket Ka Apet N Emir Mesha. All right, this is not to be spelled Ner, it's an abbreviation for Emir. Sometimes we can have the tongue as well as an abbreviation for Emir. Here we have. Neb ta jeser. Oh, how interesting! Here we have the word kereset. A kereset, and underneath, actually, we have the glyph for the coffin. You see, so kef, kef, ke, kereset has something to do with the burial. Some people have made some linguistic acrobatics and linguistic gymnastics. And they try to make a correlation between Kereset and Christ, but it's not accurate. <laughs>